In this second video, I am going to show you actually how I rejuvenate one of these Ryobi batteries. In the first video, I went through just the overall process or procedure to revive the battery. This time, I will actually show you how to rev revive this one battery here. Um, this one is bad. This one is the Ryobi 18 volt. I have two good NICAD batteries in series. As you can see, the wires are attached just using the tie wraps so I can remove them later on. And they're cinched up pretty tight so that it won't come loose. If I grab my multimeter and I measure the voltage, here's my negative, here's my positive. You see that it's about 37.9 or 38 volts. So this is the voltage I'm using as the power source. And now I'm going to connect the negative side. Here's the negative side. Okay, I'm going to hold it to the negative of the Ryobi battery. That is bad. And I'm going to show you what you want to do. So this is a positive lead. Okay, on a positive lead, you're going to see a spark when I do this, but you want to do it very quickly. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just rapidly do a couple of taps like that and you can grab a multimeter, measure this voltage and right now it's 19.12. Earlier, I didn't show you in the video, is this battery actually dies overnight. You charge it up and it dies the next day. It was down to about 15 volt. So at this point, what you want to do is leave this battery to cool down for 15 minutes and then once it cools for 15 minutes you can put in the regular Ryobi charger do a regular charge a full charge and the battery should be good to go so that's all you have to do thank you for watching